This brings us nicely on to our next ratio, which is return on equity. Return on equity is the return that shareholders achieve on their investment. To calculate ROE, we divide net profit by the average equity during that period. So again, I'll write equals, go to the income statement, and find net profit. When a company is using debt to boost its returns, it reduces the equity amount as a percentage of total assets, and can increase the return on equity as a result. However, if the company defaults on the debt, the return on equity can quickly go to zero. Although there are many more profitability on investment ratios, these two are the ones I've used most often and should suit your needs for the moment. In later courses, we will expand our analysis to include some additional profitability ratios. Now let's take a look at some efficiency ratios, which measure how well a company utilizes its assets and liabilities internally. The efficiency ratios that we will use relate to the cash conversion cycle 